two, three. You count those. Wait, I already counted those. Okay, I'll count these. Wait, did you count these already? Hey, April, Marcos, what's up with all those drinks? Oh, hi, Adesina. We might have too many to fit in the fridge. Yeah, we're counting them before we try stuffing them in there. It's taking us a while to count all these. There has to be a more efficient way. It looked like you were counting them one at a time. Have you tried counting them in groups to be more efficient? So we're only going to count how many groups there are? Don't we have to count the bottles one at a time to make sure that we count them all? We will definitely count all the bottles. But if we count in groups and use repeated addition, it takes less time. The process is called multiplication. Let me show you. You know how to add by sixes, right? Like six plus six plus six? Exactly. So instead of counting each bottle separately, let's count by sixes. But what if we want to count bottles that aren't in six packs? Then we could just make our own equal groups. Great idea. Now let's try counting all of these bottles by lining them up in rows of equal size. Rows go left and right, and each one will represent a group. We know the bottles come in groups of six. So let's start by making rows that have six bottles in them. When we're done, we'll have what's called an array. So this array has six bottles in each row. Now that we have equal groups of six in each row, we can just count by sixes. Since we know there are eight groups of six, we can say eight times six is equal to 48. That's multiplication. Hey kids, if you want to watch this whole episode and more, tell your teacher to sign up at generationgenius.com. We cover all math topics, grades K through eight, and you get to watch it in class, but only if you tell your teacher.